Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. Although our Saturday was gloomy, one piece of good information, a bright spot, so to speak, on our Saturday was we're having our first 6 p.m. sunset since November 4th of last year. And we're only going to gain daylight as we get closer and closer to springing forward. And as daylight saving time begins, of course, we're gaining that extra hour and then we're back close to 8 o'clock as we progress through early April and finally hitting 8 p.m. by April 28th. So if you're a fan of spring, you're a fan of warmth, more sunshine and daylight, that's all coming our way. Sadly, didn't see a ton of sun today, but we've seen some peaks in the capital city as we're taking that live glance off to the northwest. Still plenty of clouds out there, but we have that wind that's coming in more from the uh, northwest. It's going to continue to bring in some drier air. Still seeing some sprinkles off to our north and east, but the bulk of the rain on the Storm Team Live Radar Network is up in New England. Still seeing some heavy rain up there, but temperatures were warm with the system despite the track. So really it's been all rain for the bulk of the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast. I think we're going to stay on the mild side of things really as we progress through the next few days plus. In terms of that rain though, still picked up a fair amount as it moved on through over the last 24 hours. Gettysburg saw just over eight tenths, a bit less from Mount Wolf through Mechanicsburg there. Lebanon saw only a half of an inch and some other uh, reports across the area I did see Peckway picking up over an inch of rain in southern Lancaster County, a bit less seven tenths in Hummelstown and only a quarter of an inch of rain up in Lewistown. As we progress through the remainder of the evening, we're going to start to see some dry air trying to eat away at those uh, clouds. We'll still keep the mostly cloudy sky, I'm thinking, though, of attempts back in the middle to upper 40s through the overnight with some of that clearing and the lighter breeze and the wet ground, we could have some fog around. Temperatures fall back into the upper 30s and lower 40s. And then tomorrow, a nice day as high pressure continues to take over. That leads to a little, a little uh, more sunshine and temperatures warming back up into the upper 50s and lower 60s. A pleasant end of the weekend for sure. We hit 48 degrees today, our low is 37. Pretty close to where we should be in terms of our high temperature, but with the clouds and the moisture, we were, we were a milder than normal for this time of the year and officially picked up a six tenths of an inch up at a Harrisburg International. We're at 48 now in Gettysburg, still 50 in Chambersburg. It is 46 in Sealands Grove. We have 50 on the dot here in Lancaster. But notice that wind coming in from the northwest in the wake of this storm system. So that's going to start to bring in some drier air as we step into our uh, Sunday, but not really going to tap into any cooler of an air mass as this ridging quickly develops. Now, I mentioned the fall potential. Visibility could briefly drop close to a mile, if not a little lower than that, as we head through the wee hours of our Sunday. So if you have uh, plans to get out early on in the day, you'll definitely want to stay uh, weather aware, especially if you're traveling because the fog could become a bit dense with the setup that we have. You can see on predictor the clouds starting to diminish a little bit, slow to clear, but breaking up nonetheless as we progress through the early hours of our uh, Sunday. And then as we head through the morning, we're seeing more of that sunshine. That trend going to continue as we head through the uh, afternoon. We'll call it a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Not a completely bright day, but it is going to overall be a nicer day than how our uh, weekend began. So if you're getting out to the Pennsylvania Home and Garden Show, which is from 10 to 6 tomorrow out at the Farm Show Complex, we'll have temperatures warming up nicely back close to 60 by uh, 2 o'clock and then 6 o'clock. We're going to be sitting likely into the uh, upper 50s. Now, as we progress through the next 10 days, we are going to feel the mild air holding 62 on Monday. Not a ton of sunshine, though, out of a system that brings more rain Tuesday. Another system quickly moves in Wednesday into Thursday, so we stay unsettled, expecting chances for rain to continue a little break Friday, then another system moves in and this one does bring another round of rain as we progress through this upcoming weekend. And of course, remember to flip the clocks forward there, McKenna's daylight saving time begins. Oh my gosh, it is already time for that. Thanks, TJ. <laughs>